Team, welcome back to another Saturday tester. This Saturday's tester is called Super Fun. Super Fun is a 16 minute AMRAP. There are two pieces involved in this AMRAP. The first piece you'll move from either a hanging knee raise or a toes to bar into a barbell squat of some variation into a pogo burpee. Once you've moved through that, the next piece will now be a pull up or chest to bar variation another squatting variation, and another pogo burpee. For those who are doing the gymnast program, your movement's a little bit different, of course, based on what we have available. You'll be moving through a push-up, a squat, and a burpee, followed by a sit-up, a squat, and a burpee. You will also be completing a 16-minute AMRAP. As always, there are some unique differences between the three different programs that we have for Live, Perform, Compete. We really wanna make sure that you're reading the right program and getting the movements right. What is this workout testing? Well, the cool thing about this workout is whilst the movement patterns remain the same, some, some movement on a pull-up bar, some form of squatting pattern, and some form of burpee, there is some variance within the workout. So the gymnastics movements are gonna move from a kipping knee raise or a toes to bar in the first segment, and then some form of pull-up or chest to bar movement in the second. Because it's an AMRAP, you're gonna to continue to alternate, alternate between those two movements over the 16 minutes. Now the squatting variation is gonna move from an overhead squat to a front squat for those in perform and compete. So again, we'll be moving back and forth between two different squatting variations. The pogo burpee is something that's not really tested in the sport. We've tested it once on our Saturday testers, but today's pogo burpee will be a lateral pogo burpee, which means you perform the burpee on one side of the bar, you must jump over the bar. As soon as you land, you're springing back to the other side of the bar where you started. That'll be one repetition. In the first half of this workout, you'll start with the bar on your left side, on the second half of the workout, you'll start with the bar on your right side. So the general theme here, although the movements are the same, there's a lot of variance within the workout. It's really important that you understand the different movements and you execute them accordingly. To perform well in this workout, athletes will have to be able to be competent with both forms of gymnastics kipping. So whether that's a knee raise or a toes to bar, but also be able to transition into a pull up or a chest to bar pull up. Similarly, athletes will have to be good squatters we're talking about good squatting doesn't necessarily just mean strength, but of course the overhead squat and the front squat are gonna demand a lot in terms of positions. Those who are doing the live program, of course, we don't do overhead squatting in our program, so make sure you read the details on what squats you have in this workout. How does this workout fit within our current training cycle? Well, once again, a reminder, a lot of our subscribers are just getting back to the gym. Now, assuming that a lot of our subscribers, whilst not having access to the gym, didn't really have access to things like pull-up bars and heavy barbells. So because of that, the gymnastics volume in this workout is a little bit lower than what we typically prescribe. Having said that, it is building each week. Similarly, the loads used for the overhead squats and front squats and barbell movements in general are also a little bit lighter than what we pre previously prescribed in past workouts. Over time, we'll be both increasing the complexity of the movements the repetitions and the volume of the movements and also loads, but we're gonna take our time getting there. From a pacing standpoint, it always comes down to what is your limiter in this workout? Once you identify what your limiter is, and here we basically have five different movements, make a pacing strategy around that limiter. So for example, if the chest to bar pull up is gonna be the hardest movement for me, which could potentially bottleneck me in this workout, it's really important that I'm slowing down the other movements in the workout so that when I get there, I'm in the freshest state to be able to perform them to the highest standard. Conversely, a lot of people think, well, the chest to bar is my weakest movement. I need to rush through the other stuff to give myself more time on that movement. That's not how it works because you're only gonna be more fatigued when you get there. It's also really important to remember that this is an AMRAP. So what you can do to start is create some projections as to roughly how long it's gonna take you to move through one round. If one round is gonna take you 16 minutes, that's gonna be a very different workout to someone who can move through one round in six to eight minutes because they're gonna be repeating a second round. How do we do this? Well, we use our warm-ups. That's a great time to kind of move through a broken down variation of the workout. Of course, you can use a leaderboard, find someone who you think is of a similar ability to you and have a look at their score. Probably the biggest potential limiter or the biggest potential bottlenecker in this workout for most people is gonna be the gymnastics movement because there's a skill piece there and it's a local muscle endurance of the grip, the biceps and the lats 
going too hard too quickly on those repetitions could mean that you're gonna be standing there resting, looking at the pull-up bar, waiting to recover in later rounds. So early breaks there is gonna be really sensible. Similarly, with the squatting movements, although the load's not that heavy, you are completing 40 squats per round. So if squatting is not a strength movement of yours, again, breaking those up into small manageable sets from the start would be a good idea. To close, to all of our online subscribers, make sure you put your scores into what up. Remember these Saturday testers, we most likely will be retesting it at another point in time. So it's great for you guys to have a benchmark to compare to. For those who don't subscribe, firstly, you have a 14 day free trial. So if you wanna give it a go, sign up and enjoy your 14 days. Otherwise, grab a friend, throw down, and put your scores in the comments below.